Yo, what's up guys? Let's go through the process of creating a view pager and uh, what is it for? Let's start a new project. I think they actually have a view pager template here, yes, but uh, I'm just gonna create uh, it from scratch. Let's delete some redundant layouts. And add the view picture here. I'm gonna give it ID of pager. And uh, yes. Almost done. Right, so what the view pager does is it, it displays fragments where a swipe is, is a navigation between them. And uh, for then first you need to create fragments to display. You can have either one type or several types depending on the stuff that you display. I'm just gonna have two fragments that's gonna display just simple text use. Oops, I didn't want that. Yeah, you can have just one fragment type and display different stuff depending on the position in the list. Of course. Yes, I don't need that. All right. And just make it visible which fragment you're looking at. Okay, and then you need a an adapter for your pager. I use uh, state uh, what's it called fragment state pager adapter. Where you have a count number of pages. Let's just have two for now. And then, depending on which position in the list you're you're in, you need to return the fragment. So let's do this like this. This method is called uh, when initializing fragments. If position is zero. second fragment yeah like that and then just initialize the fragment set it up here And set adapter. And that's it. Let's try. Right, and here it is our view pager with the two fragments. And let's just see how it works. So it creates 
a fragments that you're uh, currently in and one to the left and one to the right so that it's uh, have a, th a smoother uh, swipe navigation without any loading and you could set a custom number of uh, those pages to the left and to the right it's called off-screen limit like this for example but and by default it's one one to the left and one to the right let's just have a login inside of here which prints in on create method just drag it trace it And now I'm just gonna have multiple fragments here. I'm just gonna change it to one to log tag because I wanna see it in uh, one filter. All right, here it is. It created two fragments at a time because there is no fragment to the left. So it's just current and one to the right. And once you swipe, it creates a fragment to the right more and more. Here it is. And let's try to set off screen limit to 10. Right, so now let's check, uh, let's see how we can handle the same fragments with the different data type to display depending on position. So here in get item, you would instantiate new fragment and you would pass some argument with the position. But you cannot do this with the fragment constructor because constructor doesn't have a bundle that is recreated on rotation. That's why on rotation it would get lost. That's why you've seen the, those methods like new instance. You pass, it's just a nice way to pass a bundle to fragment which is being saved on rotation. So for example, int position. That's why you should always instantiate fragments with the, in this way, with the bundle passed and not in just in constructor of fragment. And then on create, or you can actually retrieve it here. Get arguments, get int, and it's gonna go be called position. And we put it uh, here. Like this. All right, and then just print the position. And uh, Let's just delete the second fragment. We're not gonna use it.
it's just gonna be one fragment type. First fragment, new instance with position. Alright, and here it prints uh, position in the list. Yes, and everything works. This is how you determine what data to display for same types of fragments in the list. And that's basically it. That's all you need to know about fragments. Just one more thing. Sometimes you need to access your fragments and uh, you cannot do this by any default methods from the adapter. Let's just like adapter get get item is this method that uh, you've implemented here and it returns new instances so it's not the one that you should use I use this one And here you first check if uh, fragments already have a fragment instantiated for this position then you put new fragments to this position and uh, it's gonna be first fragment new instance position and then just return like this and this way you can now you can actually call get item at position and just cast it to your fragment like this and this covers uh, basically most of the uPager use cases I hope you liked it and uh, found it useful click like and subscribe